Um, thanks so much. Um, I said at the last Teach Me I was out, I'm a bit of an imposter because I'm not a teacher. Although I have worked with schools for the last 20 years, so I'm not quite an imposter. Um, I come from a charity called Interfilm. Some of you might have known it before as Film Club. Um, and we recently merged with, with another company, uh, charity, and got funding from the British Film Organisation to deliver film education nationally. So we're now in about 10,000 schools nationally. And it's just about film literacy and getting children, young people accessible to film literacy, filmmaking. And most recently, we've got a massive CPD programme running nationally, free CPD in filmmaking and film literacy. So anyway, moving on very, very quickly. Um, we've got lots of resources that once you register, it's all free. You can download their PowerPoints for teachers with embedded film clips and activities. And so as a lot of it's about filmmaking, I just want to talk to you about filmmaking in the classroom. Um, and I've seen a lot of you have got tablets here. Um, and, you know, what we're saying is filmmaking in the classroom can be really accessible. It doesn't have to be you have flashy equipment. You can use tablets or... Uh, whether, I don't know, some schools allow phones. If some of the children might have phones, you could use them. Some schools have flip cams. So it's pretty accessible in that way. And it's just another way of, of learners engaging in maybe the text or any curriculum subject. Um, next one, please, John. Thank you. So I'm just going to show you a very quick activity that some of you might or might not have heard of. I've put some of these sheets on the desk. It's one hour once. This is a very quick sheet that you can use in your classroom and or you can email me afterwards and I can send you the whole resource 54321 so 54321 basically consists of five shots um, and if they haven't learned about shot types they can learn about them and to elevate the learning they could then use five specific shots from the major shot types um, four people in each group but that obviously can be varied Three props, with props, you could select the props depending on what the uh, curriculum piece of text you want to engage in. Or you could ask them to select the props and then when they present their film they can say why they chose those props and how they relate to the bit of text they've created into a film. Uh, two minutes, this is the one that we're quite rigid on, that we say maximum of two minutes, any more than that and you'll get into sort of editing and lots of rushes and lots and lots of um, filming. And one area of curricular focus that obviously you're going to decide for them. Um, <clears throat> and on the back of this, sorry, this sheet, on the back there is a, oh, I've got one that hasn't. But on the back of them there is a storyboard template that you can also use. And basically there's no editing involved, so it's really about them being very careful in their planning and storyboarding. And so they'll, they'll just shoot each scene without editing. Um, a friend of mine that's a teacher in a school in Leytonstone um, was reading The Crucible with some of his students. So they, they took a piece of text from that and uh, made a little short two-minute film, sort of editing in camera. Um, and recently I was at a teach meet in Taunton and a science teacher was talking about he was using iMotion to record um, experiments. But I was just thinking that's another way of kind of using it in STEM subjects as well, especially in science. So next one, oh, he's already moved on, he's moving on quicker than I have. Um, so obviously to start with a uh, way of learning the different subjects of filmmaking is to look at shot types. I'm sure some of you can maybe uh, know, you already know these shots. So there's establishing shot, knowing where you are in the place, visually, the long shot to kind of get to know who the character is, mid shot, over the shoulder, close up, Extreme close-ups often used in horror films like Psycho to show fear and evoke different emotions. Uh, one of the ways to um, engage in their learning of this could be um, camera shot bingo, which we did the other day with some teachers and they enjoyed. And you could just tip acts out those um, the names of the shots and give them all a sheet and call out the names. And uh, whoever wins first, they can read them back. So it's kind of <coughs> excuse me, one way of... What is that? It's like a helicopter going to take off or something like that noise. Um, okay, so that's one way of uh, kind of engaging their learning. So next one, please. Thank you. So before they start the film, again, some top tips. Um, the first one being they need to practice. So practicing and repetition means they're engaging with the text and also having to kind of analyse and critique the text as well to plan what they're going to shoot. Um, obviously using the pause buttons because they're going to 
they're not going to require any editing, so they're editing and affecting camera. Um, with sound, uh, trying to find a quiet place because you might just be using a phone or a tablet that hasn't got a mic attached to it, or maybe you know if you've got a long shot, then using something that hasn't got dialogue. Um, camera the right way up, well that's just more with phones and, and tablets so that it's landscape and not portrait. And um, camera angles, again another extension of their learning. You know in films there's obviously if you're looking up at a subject, there's, it creates um, power and tension with uh, another subject you're looking down at and so they can explore different ways that we evoke emotions with the viewers. Next one please. So this is just, um, this is just a little film some teachers made in CPD. Um, and this is what they did. We're not saying that they're going to get any BAFTAs for this, by the way, but anyway. And they used the three props. <laughs> Maybe they did get a BAFTA then. Um, so there's one more uh, slide after that, John. Thank you. Um, so that's kind of... Oh, no. No. Oh, OK. So, uh, yeah, I think it's lost two of my slides. Uh, very quickly, um, just some of the transferable skills are obviously working in a team to, to create a film it re requires teamwork and communication and critiquing and analytical skills plus kind of organisational skills. Um, and I don't know, I wonder if anyone at the moment is doing a specific subject where they can see this working? Any offers? Yeah, drama. drama. Anything else? Any other subjects? Yeah, we were interested in history, so we did um, a mini series of history lessons, TV programmes about the history of the book. Okay, brilliant. So um, anyway, if any of you find that useful, um, come see me in the break if you want to, if you're interested in joining up so you can get the free resources and CPDs and do take one of those home. Thanks for listening. <laughs>